If you write fan mail or request autographs through the mail, then you are in the right place. A common question in the hobby is, how do I get photos for celebrities to sign? I will quickly show you the easiest way to do this. TalesFromTheCollection.com is a dedicated source for all things fan mail and through the mail autograph collecting. Make sure to also check out Tales From The Collection's Facebook group to join in on the conversation. We will cover size requirements, where to find photos to get signed, and how to large photos if needed, and how to print them in this video. So first to start off, we're going to go to, oh, we need to know how many pixels do you need for the photo size that you're printing. Uh, most people are probably going to want to print an 8x10 photo. And the minimum amount of pixels that you should have for that is 2400 by 3000. Now, if you have less than that, then your photo is going to come out grainy. If you have more than that, then great. Then it's just going to be a sharper image. So uh, this is the minimum to have a nice, crisp looking image. If you have less than that, then you're going to have to go in a larger photo. So my favorite search engine for images would be Bing. Uh, I prefer it because it has a little bit better filter options for the size requirements of a photo. And that's important for when you're printing out because you need, uh, you need to match that pixel size that we just talked about. So we're gonna go for, let's say we want a photo of Pedro Pascal. We're gonna look for him. And uh, you can one, do the drop down menu here and search by you know, general kind of image size or you can enter in the pixels uh, exactly so that you know you get at least uh, an 8x10 image for example so uh, 2400 by 3000 so really any of these should be suitable for printing and giving you a high quality image so um, you can choose anything you like and then just upload it and you should get something good looking but the problem is there's a lot more small images on the web than there are big images so you're kind of limiting yourself a little bit to the images that you uh, can find if you want one that's natively large enough so uh, you might be better off um, let's say that there's an image that you want that's a little bit smaller than you'd like uh, this is these are really small so let's go, let's look at the large images. And let's say I like this one. It's only 800 by 1200. I'm going to save the image. Uh, right click, save as. Now once I have it saved, I can go to this website right here called photoenlarger.com. All you have to do is browse for your image, go to where you saved it, upload, and then right here you can enter the pixels. So we have, we need one side to be at least 3000, which makes the other one by 4500. You can then enlarge it. And then it uses various algorithms to enlarge your photo. Um, so even though these all look pretty much the same, uh, they are slightly different. Sometimes that's noticeable, sometimes not so much. Uh, I think this first one here looks pretty good. So we're gonna download that as a JPEG. And now that's saved into our folder. And that's pretty much it. Then you just go to amazon.com, which is my favorite place to order photo prints. And you're going to, uh, for autograph purposes, you're going to want to get a matte photo. Um, glossy will work, but uh, for ink to stick to the photo better, matte is preferred. Just choose your side size, and then you just click get started and upload your image, and then check out with your Amazon account. Um, it's that simple. If you have a favorite site for printing photos online, let me know in the comments below. And please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this.